What treatments are available if you do get sick? And unfortunately, as we sit here today, there is no specific effective antiviral treatment for COVID-19. So all of the treatment for the sickest patients really revolve around supportive care. And for those in the 5% of the people who will be infected with COVID-19, who will have a severe form of the disease, the most important thing that we can do is what we call supportive care. Supportive care would be intensive care in the ICU, uh, antibiotics for preventing bacterial super infections. So remember, this is a viral infection for which we have no specific antiviral antibiotics, but one of the main ways that people with this disease can also proceed to life-threatening respiratory failure is that a mild viral illness can lead to a secondary bacterial superinfection, which then complicates the pneumonia and can lead to acute respiratory distress, respiratory failure, and death. So we are treating people in the ICUs with bacterial antibiotics to prevent superinfection, but at present there are no effective antiviral therapies for the novel coronavirus. So what do you do? Well, certainly you want to get plenty of rest. You want to stay home, stay well hydrated. You do want to use uh, medicine to reduce the fever once it's determined that that fever has been high. You want to reduce it. Take acetaminophen, ibuprofen, or naproxen to reduce the fever and ease the aches and pains. But be sure to follow directions. If you're taking any combinations of cold or flu medicine, keep track of all the ingredients, the time you take them, and the doses and certainly for acetaminophen, which will be the most commonly used to treat both the high fever and the aches and pains, the total daily dose from all of the Tylenol or acetaminophen should not exceed 3,000 milligrams or three grams.